working at CLG has really forced me to confront the question of what access to justice means um, in the context of a legal system that isn't necessarily just. Um, we think of access to justice as maybe access to a courtroom or access to um, even legal representation. But if those things are all part of a system that benefits certain groups and disenfranchises other groups, you know, then access to those things is not the same as access to justice. And so I think I've learned that a really important part of access to justice is recognizing the inherent injustices within this legal system uh, that we're operating in. And hopefully working towards reform of those systems. Um, but of course, in the meantime, the, the clients at CLG have really taught me about the human side of access to justice. You know, we hope to see reform in these systems, we hope to see change, and we know that that change doesn't happen overnight. And so there's this um, sort of in the meantime, day to day human interaction that I think is a really important part of access to justice, and that is. Um, working alongside, walking alongside people as they navigate these um, sometimes unjust and, and always imperfect systems um, that are in place. And I think there's so much value in being honest with people about the imperfections about the system, walking alongside them, asking them what it is that they are really seeking in terms of outcomes, you know, maybe it's financial assistance or maybe it's being able to leave a situation in the past or maybe it's just being heard um, but i think that's such an important key piece of access to justice is really finding out the resolution that that people are looking for and helping them determine if the legal system is truly the right tool um, to achieve that and doing it in a way that really honors their story and their dignity and their humanity.